Hey Osmosis fam, I'm Carly. I'm Tucker. I'm Greg. We're all second year medical students at the University of Maryland in Baltimore and we're here today to talk to you about how we collaborate on osmosis. So as of now, the class of 2021 at the University of Maryland has about 85 members and we all work together on our shared workspace to collaborate, to make flashcards that we share with each other, to talk on the forum because it's one of the best features of osmosis and we want to share that with other members. Yeah, so one of the, my favorite things about Osmosis is the ability to see everyone's flashcards that we're all making together. So it cuts down on your study time and your time to make your own cards and also makes you a little more efficient in the process. On top of that, we, the form is great for communication with each other. We're able to uh, either correct uh, information that someone else may have misheard. You can add a mnemonic to help people learn uh, topics better and also add some more information. If something's confusing, someone can ask a question, and then we all kind of work together and figure it out and make a way to best, better understand it. And in a lot of situations when you're going through the lecture yourself, you'll find that you may not remember how a certain thing works, but then information that someone else has produced can help you right along the way and yeah. make it much easier to understand much more quickly so you don't have to go digging for those answers. Yeah, and I think in immunology, it's really complex, so a lot of my friends' cards actually made it a lot more simple than the lecturers. Yeah, They'll bring in outside information, and you wouldn't have gotten that if you don't collaborate with your with your friends and use osmosis. So I use osmosis a little bit differently. Uh, I tend to not use as many flashcards, but I prioritize more questions, deeper thinking, or uh, like more steps along the way. My questions will tend to take multiple inf like information from multiple slides, combine it together, and then maybe even connect it to something outside of the lecture uh, with something that we've done before. And again, a great benefit of these is that if, if I'm trying to do a little bit too much and my question's not making sense or I'm not hitting all the key points, my collaborators can come in, change the question, or leave a comment and say, I think you're thinking about this a little bit in the wrong way. Yeah. I think you should go ahead and maybe put these aspects into this question. Yeah, you basically have someone like proofreading all your work and you're studying so you know yeah. you're studying, right? And then at the end of the week, we can all add the questions made from the entire week by Tucker and other classmates and quiz ourselves on what we just learned the past week. Hope you guys check out how you can collaborate more with your classmates and open up a shared workspace. It's a great tool. Yeah. Thanks. Start your free trial today at osmosis.org.